Hi, I'm Michael Stringeri. I'm a senior horticulturist here at Mount Cuba Center. And we're here in our Lower Oak LA in the formal gardens. Uh, today we're here to talk about asters. At the end of the season, we highlight the end of the season with this huge planting of aromatic aster. Sky blue to a little bit of lilac in the flowers. Uh, their big ray florets are just like a landing pad for pollinators. They fly in and they can just walk flower to flower. They don't even have to fly if they don't want to. Uh, it's just buzzing with activity today with the sun out. I've seen a bunch of honeybees, short tongue bees, long tongue bees, a few butterflies, some skippers, and some uh, surfeit flies. This plant's great for your late season pollinators as well as it's a, a larval insect host or a larval host for a few insects as well. So this plant is super beneficial to plant in your own garden just to support our local e ecosystems. It's caring for this plant is super easy. It spreads by slowly by rhizomes underground. You just plant this thing, water it for a season or two to get it established, and then you let it go. In May, we do the Chelsea Chop. And if you're not familiar with that, that is just cutting the plant back by about half in mid to late May, which then in turn results in a lot more flowers this time of year. This plant likes part to full sun. Uh, it does okay in, in some shade, but it will be happier in full sun. Uh, as you can see, the taller areas in this garden where the, the plant has grown tallest is in the full sun areas. The uh, shadier areas, it's a little bit lower, but I, we kind of like that undulating uh, shape of the hedge here. There's plenty of asters blooming this time of year. Right now we're at about the end of October is winding down for the season. Usually they'll have some flowers into November into the first couple frosts and then they'll finish up.